what is going on guys in today's video I have gone crazy because I never thought I'd be making this video I am doing a review on the film Child's Play from 1988 never thought I'd be saying that sentence on this channel so this channel is obviously staying family friendly because no clips will be shown from the film it is a 15 but this film was just too good for me not to talk about it so I decided just to come on here and talk about it, post it, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll probably still do these movie reviews, probably Child's Play 2 eventually, but if you're below 15, don't watch it, just just don't watch it. That's all I have to say, without further ado, adieu, adieu, something, enjoy. So I really enjoyed this film, like I went into it blind, but I, really, I knew it was about a Doll, that was obvious, but like I re I, it was unbelievable how much I enjoyed this film, because like I was laughing my head off. I tell you, because like it was so funny. There were so many moments that just caught me, and I just laughed at, like the doll. The doll itself, it's creepy at times. Like Chucky can be creepy at times. Obviously, he's meant to be creepy. He's a horror character. But at points, he's just really funny. Like, the the horror disappears. It's just funny. Like, he convinces Andy to ditch school, go to a very dodgy-looking neighbourhood. And, yeah. It was really... I like I like the story. Because, like, the thing with me is I love movie storylines. I love following them. Which is why I want to watch the Chucky films. Because, well, how many there are. There's... It's probably a consistent storyline that I want to follow. So what's going on is uh, this guy is being chased by the police and he gets shot down. So he he looks at the closest thing near him and he's in a toy shop and the closest thing near him is a good guy doll. So he transfers his soul into the doll to stay alive. Um, and then he ends up in the hands of a six-year-old kid who just thinks it's a regular old doll and he tells him his secret and then later on in the film he finds out that he has to trans to get out of the body he needs to put his soul into the first person he reveals his identity to and that happens to be the six-year-old kid so he spends the film chasing the six-year-old kid to get in the body and like the ending, the way Chucky looks at the end of this film, it's just incredible. Like for the for the time it was made, it was really good. Um, it was like burnt up. He was all like he was burnt. He was like he turned like black, and it looked incredible. Like the way it looked, it was just incredible. I'm gonna keep going on about this, but. Some of you might get mad at me for this, but I preferred this over the first Halloween film. Like, I honestly... Oh, I'm gonna die. I honestly preferred this to the first Halloween film. Like, Chucky, better than Halloween. Better than Michael Myers. And, like... Yeah, it was just, like... Just incredible. Obviously, they both got rebooted in 2018, so... I'll do my film reviews on that eventually when I see it. Um, I will carry on doing horror film reviews. But for this film, I'm, I've got to rate it like 9 out of 10. That was, because that, that is an amazing, that was an amazing film. It brought, like, Michael Myers brought me to the horror side, but like, this film, jeez, it, it was just like, it was more of a comedy, but it made me love horror films even more, to be honest. Like, just I just don't know but yeah it's a definite 9 out of 10 thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one goodbye